Hello guys, welcome to another class on Benko Institute. I remain your host, Gideon. Today's class, we are going to be doing something that will benefit everybody, whether you use generators, chainsaw, lawnmowers, whatever it is, provided your machine is being powered by petrol. This tutorial is definitely going to benefit you. So on today's class, we are teaching you guys how to reduce the cost you spend on petrol for your generators okay except you are very rich and you have the financial capability to buy petrol as you wish you can skip the video but if you're like me that conserve money on petrol even for my chainsaw lawnmowers generators as the case may be then this video is definitely for you how do you conserve or how do you reduce the cost of petrol for your generators one of the things i've taught on this channel over the years is how to adjust your carburetor but fortunately most persons are not in the know and that's what like, i'll be teaching right now how do you adjust the carburetor of your generator so that it doesn't take much fuel for its running or it doesn't take much petrol for its running so how do you adjust the carburetor let's do that quickly now this is your carburetor right uh, i hope you guys can see this but this is your carburetor okay this particular valve enables fuel and air or petrol and air to get into your engine and when this is taken clockwise it reduces consumption of petrol and air so if i take it to the right which is clockwise I have further reduced the consumption of petrol for the generator. Right? If I take it to the left, I have opened the valve so that more petrol and air goes in. We are trying to conserve and reduce cost of petrol. Okay, so how do you do that? You tighten this valve to the end. Tighten this valve to the end. Okay, when you tighten it to the end, it means at this point, petrol and air is not going through it's at its bottom the valve is at its bottom fully locked just like your tap petrol and air cannot go in so you just lose it anti-clockwise just two times two circles that will be perfect for the generator to run that will be enough for the generator to run okay so doing that that has further reduced um, the cost of petrol for you you are not going to spend much petrol for your generator let's assume you were using four liters of petrol for five hours or four liters of petrol for four hours at this this time around you end up using two liters of petrol for that same four hours it's now understood this is just the first step there are many other steps that are attached to this that will basically help your generator and of course help you as you won't spend much on petrol the second thing you need to do is this always make sure you reduce the speed of your generator i know some people in the comments may argue this is it essential to reduce the speed well i am telling you as a professional and as a technician obviously please you can reduce the speed however there will be reduction in frequency but that really doesn't matter especially when you power well, general loads like we know you power such like your the fan ceiling fans um what have you freezers fridge and what have you so it doesn't really make any difference okay so listen to me carefully how do you reduce the speed of your generator for those that don't know this is how speed works when your speed of the generator is high the sound of your generator increases in fact they are directly proportional when your speed of your generator is low the sound reduces that is how it works so how do we go about this this is simple if you look carefully at this place you will observe there is a screw here okay what does this screw do this screw basically connects to the governor that is in charge of regulating speed of generator there's a spring here on the spring there is a screw so when you take the screw to the right you have increased what the speed of your generator but when you take it to the left you have reduced the speed of your generator please take cognizance of that and don't do the opposite 
I repeat, when you take it to the right, you've increased the speed of your generator. And when you take it to the left, you've reduced the speed of your generator. By reducing the speed of your generator, your generator no longer works as fast as it was working. The generator is not even high again. Sound the generator is no longer high. And at this point, your generator uses less petrol. It's down that street. If you have any questions, please do well to ask in the comment section. Third on our list is this. As some people would know, I have always talked about this every time in most of my videos. Do not overload your generator. And that will help you to when you are trying to conserve or reduce petrol usage. If you overload your generator, somehow your generator takes more fuel to counterbalance the load. Okay? It's life. That's how it works. If I take, decide to carry a heavy load on my head, I tend to use more strength to carry the load. But if I carry less load on my head, I don't use more strength, right? So that's the basic principle of life. And that's what affects generators as well. If you power the generator and you use more load on the generator, it takes more petrol. But then again, if you reduce the load of the generator, it does not take petrol. Try this out and give it feedback. It works like magic. I bet you, you will love this experience with your generators. Fourth on our list now, it's this. For some reason, you may feel number one, number two, number three didn't quite work out well for you. I bring to you a better alternative, and that is converting your petrol generators to using gas. Some of you may be lucky, your generator coming from the manufacturer may use gas and petrol. Okay, so all you need to do at that point in time is just to switch to the gas mode. Uh, for the gas mode, there are two types of gas. Basically, we have the liquefied petroleum gas known as LPG, which is your cooking gas. And we have the compressed natural gas, CNG, which is gas used for running of cars and other automobiles. Okay, so if you have a generator that uses, that has both mode, just simply switch to gas, CNG preferably, and that will cost you way, way less. So how do you convert this particular generator that doesn't have this mode to switch to gas? The simple thing is to get a dual carburetor, okay? Get a dual carburetor and replace this carburetor, okay? When you get a dual carburetor, that carburetor now uses petrol and what? Gas. You switch from this carburetor to that. I have a video on that already. I will drop that video in the description. Please go check it out. That particular video will even teach you how to install dual carburetors. When you install it yourself, you immediately switch to gas, whether LPG or CNG. Number five on our list. Now you switch to gas. Do you also know that the gas carburetors can be adjusted? A lot of persons don't know this, but it still can be adjusted not just like this petrol carburetor that was adjusted. How do you go about that? There's a particular knob you have to adjust as well, and some other things you would do uh, that would help you. I'll drop a link in the description. I did a video on that. You check it out. I don't have a carburetor here with me, a gas carburetor here with me. I would have taught you guys that as well. So you use carburetors that uses gas and petrol and then you are good to go you will now spend less on running your generator number six on our list is this for some persons they I may mean, have seen all these options and perhaps they do not like it they do not prefer they do not prefer it i bring to you a an alternative this alternative is inverter generators. You may have irregular power generators like this. I have tried on means for some reason, even though it became cheaper, usage of petrol became cheaper for you because you have tried all the other methods, you still need something better. Well, I introduced to you an inverter generator. I have tons of video about inverter generator on my channel. Inverter generator basically do not consume petrol. As a matter of fact, you can quote me anywhere. Some inverter generator use two liters of petrol for roughly nine, ten hours. I've seen one that I've used for twelve hours. Okay, the 
inverted jet door is so beautiful that you can walk past it and it would not make sound. You wouldn't even know your generator is on. And to cap it up, fuel efficiency is great. Okay, so if all these other five methods doesn't suit you, another thing you should do is to get an inverter generator. And by the way, we sell the best of inverter generators anyway. So that is it, guys. Before I do a full recap of this particular video, please do well to subscribe, like, and share. If you are seeing this video, if you are watching this particular part, I would really appreciate. And please tell us where you are watching us from. It will really help us create this bond with you. Okay, just a recap. First thing I said you should do, adjust your carburetor. Second thing I said you should do, reduce the speed of your generator okay third thing i said you should do do not overload your generator as a matter of fact if there are loads in your house that are not in use please put it off that will conserve much for more fuel that will save you more fuel number four switch to gas carburetor is called gas carburetor by the layman but it's usually called dual carburetor because it uses both petrol and gas number five on our list adjust that gas carburetor you switch to it will save you tons of money and number six on our list use inverter generators that are very fuel efficient if you do all this i guarantee you you are saving tons of money from usage of petrol i remain your host gideon and don't forget on this particular channel we'll talk about generators chainsaws lawn mower you name it we equally talk about solar energy system and everything around it till meet in our next class guys it's goodbye from us take care